Hello, my name is Roseanne Vitale, and this video will cover the basics of processing biopsy specimens. Biopsy specimens are often the first step in a patient's diagnosis of the cancer or other disease process, making their handling, like all patient specimens, very important. After verifying the patient identifiers on the specimen container, specimen requisition form, and cassette, you may proceed with handling the case. You will want to have forceps, a ruler, an empty specimen container, a biopsy bag, and a small funnel in order to proceed. First, open the specimen container. Check the lid of the container for any adherent tissue that may be present there. Look inside the container and identify the specimen. Once you locate the specimen, set the container down and get your biopsy bag, your funnel, and your empty container ready. You will want to separate the biopsy bag and open it. Hold it in your non-dominant hand and place the funnel inside the bag and over the empty container. Again, take the biopsy bag, place the funnel within it, and then place the funnel inside the empty container. Gently swirl your specimen container and pour the formalin with the biopsy in it into the biopsy bag. Check the biopsy container for any remnant tissue inside the container. And there is the specimen. Now, take the biopsy bag again with your funnel and place it over the original specimen container. This ensures that if there's any small fragments of tissue that you may have missed the first time that you get them. From there, you may recycle the formalin at your institution or some places discard in the sink under running water. Follow your institution protocol. Make sure you close the specimen container lid using ergonomic technique. Once you have the biopsy in your biopsy bag, make sure to measure and describe the biopsy appropriately. In general, one piece of tissue will be measured in three dimensions. Two pieces will each be measured in three dimensions. Three or more pieces are measured in range from the smallest piece of tissue to the largest piece. For example, 0.2 centimeters to 0.6 centimeters in greatest dimension and three-dimensional aggregate. So all of the multiple pieces of tissue will be placed into the corner of the bag and measured in three dimension aggregate. For example, 1.5 by 1.2 by 1.0 centimeters in aggregate. Again, make sure to describe the tissue, tan pink, soft tissue, for example. Measure your specimen, place um, the biopsy bag into the cassette, making sure to fold it carefully so that the cassette lid closes completely. 
You will then place your cassette in formalin and move on to your next case. The next part of this video covers needle core biopsies. After verifying the patient identifiers on the container, the specimen requisition form, and cassette, you want to make sure you have forceps, a ruler, and biopsy sponges in order to proceed. First, open the container. Check the lid of the container for any adherent tissue that may be present there. Look inside the container to find the specimen. Place a biopsy sponge inside your cassette. Once you locate the specimen in the specimen container, gently use your forceps to remove the needle core biopsy from the container and place it on top of the biopsy sponge in the cassette. Measure and describe the specimen. Since needle core biopsies are solid tubes, they are measured in length and diameter. After you describe and measure, place another biopsy sponge on top of the specimen and carefully close the cassette. Ensure the cassette lid is closed all the way. Place your cassette in formalin and move on to the next case. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions.